when I first came across Clean Easy, I, um, I mean, my background was I used to work in the shipyard, similar to Gavin Scott. I mean, Gavin was a fitter at Swanunders. I used to be a blacksmith down at uh, Austin and Pickers Gills in Sunderland. And uh, when I first joined Clean Easy, I was living in a council house in a little mining village called Merton, a very small mining village where I was brought up. And I mean, now, uh, because of the income from Clean Easy, I've earned over sort of £300,000 a year now, last few years. It's been quite incredible, actually. And um, we were just working it out in January. Uh, January there, we, we'd added it up. And since I joined Clean Easy, we've actually earned over £2.8 million. So this year, we'll top three. And if you like, we'll be working on our fourth million, all down to this amazing business, Clean Easy. And it's took me from, literally, from the council house where I was when I first joined the company to the place I'm in today, which uh, I've got a, I've got a seven-bedroom farmhouse in 14 acres. It's been absolutely incredible. I've got a line of garages, I've got five garages in total. I've been able to buy most of the cars of my dreams over the last few years. Been able to buy my mother a house for Mother's Day. Been able to um, buy her a car for her 60th birthday. You know, it's been absolutely incredible. It's given us a fantastic lifestyle. I mean, we stood in my office right now, it's a bit of a tip like, but um, I'm sure a governor will probably pan around the walls. I'm not allowing him to go down to the floor because there's all kinds lying all over the floor. Like, But if you can see some of these pictures here, I mean, these are just some of the different pictures of stuff I'd achieved across the years. Like, I mean, I was just excited to see them. You know, we've donated money to a local school for them to buy a roundabout for disabled people. I've donated money to a young lad with his motor car racing. I've donated uh, money to a local karate club thing here for them to buy all their new suits. And then some of these things are just the pictures of that I've been able to buy, you know, myself. Um, Lamborghini there. I bought my best friend from school, the lad I went to school with. I've known him since I was 10. His dream car was a blue Corvette. And that's my Lamborghini and Stephen's Corvette here. Uh, one day out the back here at the farm. Uh, there's my Hummer, my uh, Mercedes. Uh, that's the, the Porsche that... Um, bought for Rafe for Christmas a couple of years ago, that's my mother's Peugeot, you know, the, I just love having the pictures all around me because at the end of the day, it um, it just reminds me of what the business has given us, and uh, if, you, if you look up on the beams here, Gavin, if you see up on the beams, there's, there's just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thank you cards from people all across the team, across the years, you know, absolutely incredible amount of thank you cards, they're on the backs of the beams, and then on this door here, um, on, on this particular door, uh, just leading through to my office, there's just hundreds and hundreds of cards just literally piled in five, six, seven, ten, you know, ten deep. They're not, they're not fanned out, they're absolutely chock a block to, to the point where I couldn't wedge any more in and I started to put them up on the beams. But I really think it's important to get your goals and stuff around you, to have your dream boards and stuff like that, all the certificates and stuff that we've achieved with Clean Easy, all the little toy cars, if you look over here, Gav, all the little toy cars are some of the cars I wanted across the years. I mean, I had the models first. You know, I've always had the toy cars and then eventually the real ones, that's the Bentley I want uh, there. I've just had that new model there. Um, well, it's not new, but I've, that's the, if you like the latest one, that's the Bentley I want in the very colour that I would like. And, um, you know, all the way back to my original goal boards, if I can show you that. This was my original goal board, which was the stuff stuck on my fridge door when I was living in my council house. You know, back then, I was on sort of 14 grand a year. And I just wanted things like a, like a computer. I wanted a computer. I wanted a desk and chair like that one day, and you know, not an office to put it in. And I mean, now I've got the desk and chair. There's that actual desk and chair from, from, from my poster from years ago. And this piece of paper must be 15 year old. Um, you know, there's a gold Rolex watch that I wanted. You know, way back then, which was ridiculous. You know, no one would pay. You know that the watch was like about twelve thousand pound, and yet I have I have the watch now. You know what I mean? But even things like this little tiny lamp. There's a little lamp for a desk. You know, I couldn't even afford that at the time, it was about 30 quid for one of these little lamps. I mean, now I've got the lamps, I've got the desks, I've got the, the filing cabinets to match. But I think it's really important as well to keep updating your goal boards. There's a more recent one, why well, not saying recent, it's still a few years old. But, you know, there's things on there like the Lamborghini, the Rolls Royce, just stuff. I always put quotes and things on, you know, I mean, I thought it was a fantastic one that just came in the mail one day attached to something. Good things come to those who don't wait. I thought that was a good one. There's another one on there. Some people just don't get the big picture. They don't really see it. There's another one. Time is money. Spend it wisely. Again, I still didn't have the Rolex at this point when I, when I, when I had that, that, that goal board there. And again, there was a dream of to have a, one day a, a line of garages where I could have all the different cars and my choice, if you like, in a, in, a, in, a, in a situation like that. So, yeah, it's important to have your goal boards. I think it's important to have these things around you. It's important to get the little toy cars of the stuff that you want. And... Um, it's not the tidiest office in the world, but it's just busy, busy, busy. And um, I just think if everyone just does the same sort of thing, listen to their CDs, listen, read, read their books, get the pictures of the stuff that they want around them all the time, and then also get the pictures of the stuff that they've achieved. Remind themselves what they've got from this business. I'm surrounded by it all the time. When I come into this room to do my follow-up calls, or I've got people in the team here, we've actually had, actually, I'm not sure if I'll be able to find it. 
Um, there, 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 there. I mean, I don't know what the camera will be able to focus on it like, but, uh, you know, we've had like 20 people, we've had 20 people squished into this office regularly, you know, two or three nights a week, I'll have people from different parts of our team round here doing their follow-up calls, they're all squished onto the settees and bringing the kitchen and dining room chairs and, you know, I mean, that was an exceptional night that night, there was 20-odd here, I mean, usually I try and cap it to about sort of 12 or 14 so we can make it a bit more comfortable, but just I try and help where I can for people to do their follow-up calls and, uh, um, various different uh, aspects of the business and training and stuff. So it's become an office that I can absolute, absolutely use. It's huge. You know, there's another half through there, like, but it's a bit untidy as well. So I don't want you to fan it, uh, film through there, like, but uh, you know, we can seat. I can seat probably about like 30, 40 people in here quite comfortably for the sitting and listening to phone calls and stuff. But the main thing is, in this half, I'd rather everyone be in here when we're doing phone calls so that they can hear what's being said properly. But yeah, we'll go and have a look outside and show you the the motor car.